Hey, I'm back from Thailand and I'm well rested and I'm slightly tanned and I'm feeling good and as promised uh, I went through the Sakyant experience. For those that don't know, a Sakyant tattoo is a sacred talismanic tattoo within the Thai magical tradition which kind of um, has animistic uh, tantric Buddhist kind of um, uh, interweaving of elements. So it's a, it's a, ma it's a magical art, um, ta talismanic tattoo art um, that, has, uh, th that makes use of these yants, which are uh, yantras or magical designs, which are tattooed on to the bodies of recipients for various um, uh, reasons, magical reasons, uh, such as spiritual protection or protection from enemies, bullets and gunfire and, and knives and so on, often soldiers and policemen and so on in, in, the, in the Thai military. Um, would receive these and also for many many other reasons spiritual evolution good luck good fortune and so on and um, this the art of this tra tradition is transmitted within a lineage um, of masters um, so this uh, is should be done by a qualified master of the tradition and I was very lucky to have mine done by someone called Aja Neng who is a very famous Sakyant tattoo master and very famous throughout Southeast Asia um, for the power and uh, for the beauty of his, of his Sakyant tattoos um, and uh, that's an important point to make here you can, if you travel to Thailand there are many many tattoo shops um, for that cater to the tourist industry and many of them will have um, succulent designs on the wall and I, I'm, I'm sure the tattoo artists they would be happy to to uh, tattoo you with those designs um, but those wouldn't be an authentic succulent talismanic tattoo with the magical power um, because that's done within the confines of the tradition by one of these masters and typically they are ordained and they've been trained with the, the, with the secrets of this tradition that make these uh, these tattoos powerful and effective for this uh, use. Sometimes they're Buddhist monks, um, sometimes they have another kind of ordination um, which is kind of a yogic, um, uh, gives them yogic powers and so on. So it, it really is a, a, an art that's imbued with the, the force of this lineage and the power of this tradition, the weight of this tradition that gives it this potency and this force. Um, and I was felt really lucky to be able to participate in this and to receive the, 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 the blessing of this, uh, of this uh, tattoo's magical power. Um, we, uh, we used a service, a guide, uh, that specializes in these uh, Sakyant, uh, um, um, you know, guiding people through the Sakyant tattoo process because um, you know, there, there are certain steps that you need to take when you, when you see the master or offering certain offerings that need to be made in a certain way. And of course, um, many of these masters won't have very good English. So it's really helpful to have someone there, a translator there, that can talk you through the process or communicate with the master and explain um, where you're coming from. And in fact, uh, once you arrive, um, you, he, the, the master interviews you. He finds out what you do for a living, your age, and what your values are, what's important to you, and so on, and, and what brings you for this, uh, why you need this talisman, really. And then he will, he will recommend a design for you. Um, and sometimes you get a choice, but sometimes you don't. And in my case, I did not get a choice. I was just shown that once he, once he kind of listened to what I did for a living, which is a little bit unusual, admittedly, um, he kind of just, he, 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 you know, he told me this is the design that you need. And I just, uh, uh, fortunately, I, I, I really liked the design, but um, someone that was with me got the choice of two designs, um, but I did not have that. Um, luckily, I love I love the tattoo and I love the design that I got. And I, and I and I'm I'm of the mindset that if this um, someone that, that has this reputation and this power is choosing this for me, it really is the best for me. So I was happy to do that. Um, and then yes, the the so the then the 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 the, the process is undertaken with this. Um, uh, tattoo then being um, applied to your body and tattooed. 
uh, onto you using a bamboo rod with a metal tip. So this is not a, an electric tattoo gun. This is done with the, uh, the poking method with this rod. And um, even though Master Neng is a master of this, uh, suffice to say, it's not for the faint of heart. My mind was blown at, at the detail of the design, considering that this is being done in this um, way with the, with, the, with the bamboo rod, with the metal rod poking like this. Um, but having said that, it's not like a normal tattoo with a fine needle. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit more painful than that for this reason. And there are other things as well. You've got to, um, you, you, you know, shouldn't have been drinking for a certain time beforehand, like 24 hours, I think it was. Um, you need to have been well rested to prepare for receiving it to make sure that the, um, that it, that, you know, that it goes well. But to be honest, after the first five minutes or so, um, I slipped into a kind of trance and I think it was because of the endorphins um, but also there was an energetic component with this where I felt sort of feeling very blissed out and in an altered state of consciousness and um, you, you know when and then when it was done I was kind of surprised I was like wow really it felt like it had just the, the time had passed so quickly um, that uh, I was a little bit shocked. My sense of time got very distorted. Um, uh, then, of course, um, as uh, this uh, is completed, um, there, are, there is a consecration ceremony where uh, the master recites certain um, mantric formulas over the tattoo. There are other procedures that are done I, I, that I couldn't see and we weren't allowed to form because it was happening behind me. Um, but suffice to say there is a, 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 a consecration process that then imbues the tattoo with um, its, its power. And as someone who is psychically sensitive, I found that to, my, to be um, extremely intense. I was kind of, I felt this warm, blissful flow of power kind of just pouring into my body through the tattoo. And um, that continued even after the ceremony when we, we, we went home. I was in this like weird trance-like state. It felt like for a day or two or three as this was being integrated and I would wake up at night, the first night, uh, you know, from, from dreams with this, with this mantra, this like kind of reverber reverberating through my um, uh, um, my mind, I could still hear this formula that he was saying, kind of like repeating on a loop in my mind. So that was quite remarkable and something that I, I hadn't been prepared for. It felt it felt really like um, I, something had been imprinted into a very deep stratum of my being. And, um, and even, you know, he explains uh, to me that even the location of the design is, is done for energetic reason, it has to do with the subtle body uh, understand. In my case, it was placed over my, the back of my heart, so that this has to do with um, where the, the soul enters and, and um, departs your body when you're dreaming. Um, which I find very interesting because I've got such an active dream life. And then he also explains in uh, broad strokes the meaning of the design. And, and the design that I received was quite complex. But uh, one of the highlights for me is that the central part of the design is the Shakyamuni Buddha mantra um, that's been written in reverse. That mantra has been reversed. And uh, in Thai magic, the reversal of the mantra um, like that has the power to to um, unlock, to open things, to reverse negativity and has a, the power of reversing. So I found that quite fascinating and interesting as a magician, as someone who works with various reversal formulas um, professionally also, uh, that there was this universal that you could also see in Thai magic there. Um, and then uh, lastly, after the consecration procedure, you are given rules. There are certain taboos and so on that you are uh, given to keep the power of the, of the, of the yant intact. Um, certain things that you're not allowed to eat, such as in my case, um, dog and lizard. And um, there were a couple of other things, green lentils and I, I believe crayfish. Um, which uh, which is interesting. I, the dog and the lizard, it's not something I would ever dream of eating anyway. Uh, um, and the crayfish, uh, something I eat infrequently, so it's not a big, a big deal to give up. And there are certain other strictures as well. 
um, paying respect to your parents, no cursing at your parents, um, uh, and uh, you're given a, uh, a spell, you're given a kata or a, a kind of a mantra to recite daily to 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 empower the spell to connect you to the power potency of the lineage uh, nonetheless uh, it is a sacred process um, and it, it's not so much aesthetic as it is magical and 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 mystical right and i definitely i have found that even in the short while since i've had that there were there were the next day after we received the tattoos we had weird things happen like very strange signs people like appearing and helping us and doing all kinds of strange things and um, that were for me uh, evidences of the of the efficacy of the of the process already uh, i have a great sense of awe and admiration for the tradition in which this arose and um, respect for thailand and thai culture uh, and i'm also glad that we used the service uh, i will link them down below they were really great um, we had a guide uh, and a, who is also a translator take us through the whole process and it was really nice to have a, have him there um, his name was Tobin he was really awesome and uh, I can highly recommend the service I'll link them down below if you're interested in um, receiving uh, a Sakyan tattoo with Master uh, Neng or Ajahn Neng um, as I said he's, he's famous throughout Southeast Asia for the power of his work and he's been, there's a lot of been written about his work you'll find there are various books on Sakyant tattoos that feature him, which is one of the, which is one of the reasons we were really happy to have this opportunity, um, and 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 to meet him in person. Um, so that's my Sakyant tattoo story. Um, I've got many other Thailand stories. I had an amazing trip. I had such an. It's just. It is an extraordinary country, and 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 it's not just the natural beauty. It's not just the temple. It's the people. The people are really sincere and sweet and down to earth, and the food is amazing. And one of the things about Thailand that I love the most is, you know, we are, or often I rave and rant about the disenchantment of the West. You know, how how we have uh, have this fracture in our soul and our psyche where. We have lost contact with the numinous in our culture, culturally speaking, right? And for me, this is one of the great reasons we are in such in disarray. We don't have this contact with the numinous. And in Thailand, that disenchantment never happened. The, 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 there is an absolute integration of the spiritual realm, of spiritual values, of the spirit world with secular life and with personal life. And... Um, I could go on and on about it, but it was uh, really uh, incredible to see a culture that is still has this has this um, this force flowing through it, and and you can see it everywhere. Um, maybe I'm romanticizing it a little bit because I was on vacation. Who knows? But nonetheless, I had a great time. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, I'm, I'm really happy to be back. I've got lots of great ideas for content that's going to come, so stay tuned. Remember to subscribe or to like and to share this if you enjoyed it. And till next time.